everybody, and welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. We're going to see just what we can get up to tonight. How do I change? I don't know. How do you change? My profile picture. Not here. Your, your profile picture or your character? No, the profile picture. Like, all right. You know how when you win races and shit online, it shows everybody a little picture in the yeah, background? Yeah, yeah. Most fars are just come up with Horizon picture. I want to figure out how to change mine. Be whatever the fuck I wanted it to be, and not just be the Horizon thing. Well, I know, like, individually, mine is... Um, like an old Porsche 911 but I think when we're in the group it comes up as the uh, club yeah why the fuck alright it did not change our thing that's why let me, let me go back into this here let's make this bigger customize but yeah I took a second after getting on to actually set up a S1 off-road truck since I've been meaning to do that every day for the past however long and finally decided to do it. Now see, I put on here for a custom picture already and apparently maybe they didn't think it was user friendly, but I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know. Ooh, gifted clothing. I was gifted a new clothing item, the DOTDT3. Ooh. You are the shit, man. No, not really. I was gifted super wheel spins, too. This one I got... A gold shirt, a Bentley Continental which I'll probably never drive, and five grand. By the way, I tried to join the raid, but it won't let me because I just joined the club. Oh, okay. that's perfect. I had two of my, of my little wheel spinners. One skipped over 170 grand, one skipped over 180 grand, and it gave me five grand, a hat, and another five grand. So these super wheel spins have been doing fantastic for me. That's good. Yeah, it's been doing great. None of the shit I did to it last time. Like, everything is blank like we just made the club. Sweet. Are you over there pounding on your keyboard? Mm-hmm. that shit this time. For the love of God. Yes, save it. You will save. Alright. So. I got some auction house shit I gotta do real quick. And then we can get started on um, some racing. Okie dokie. Do we want to try more of the ranked, or do we just want to go straight into the regular team adventure stuff? We can Since try. The ranked stuff works out so well. We can try the ranked like once or twice if you want. But other than that, I think it's just gonna. We're gonna want to do that probably on our own at some point. Yeah. Well, I want to look at the ranked awards and see if it's even worse going through this worth going through the hassle uh, to win this shit because I mean like 
we were trying, and and two hours we we did four fucking <laughs> races. Yeah. I mean, it looks like each time, once you reach level 20, which is like the starter level of ranked, you get a Super Wheel Spin, a Renault, Clio, Forza Edition, a hat, and a glove. Each time you level up, looks like you get a different hat with a, with your level number on it, and a wheel spin. 17 gives you 75 grand. You get the Myers Manx buggy at 15, and a gold bracelet, and a Super Wheel Spin. You get gold pants at 14, a gold waistcoat at 12, so you can put the put the outfits together. Oh my god! You get that's what I want. Gold, yeah. You oh, get a some black driving gloves, a regular pair of pants, and a t-shirt, and I'm good. <laughs> yeah, at level 10, you get super wheel spin, the Nissan R390, and the chicken dance uh, emote. Everybody needs to trick and dance, you know. Yep. Well, if you get to level 5, you get a super wheel spin, the Bugatti Veyron, and the Disco Chicken Suit. Yeah, level 3 gets you 250 grand. Level 1 gets you a wheel spin, the League 1 cap, and a golden cap. And that's really all you get. No. Okay, you get to Grand Master, you get a super wheel spin, and the Grand Master cap. So, I mean, you get, like, all sorts of different hats that show which level you are if you really want to. But, um, you know, every few, every few levels it looks like you get a car. And they keep getting better as you go up. Okay. But, you know, you also get, like, some emotes in there that are supposedly rare. And you get a bunch of gold stuff. So when you finally get to the top, you can have a completely gold outfit because you get a bracelet. The gold trousers, the gold waistcoat, gold blazer, uh, the gold shoes, and then a gold hat. So you can have all sorts of gold shit. That's awesome. awesome. If you really want to. Well, I'm changing my Venino to road tires. Change my 2017 Volkswagen Rallycross car. Change a couple things on that to make it usable, and I'm gonna start using that for my off-road races. For S1. Oh, that's right. I do have I do have a couple of those that I was gonna do that too. I forgot. Oh, I cannot change the tires. Oh, on the rally cross car? Yeah. Yeah, I thought I remember seeing that. That's fine, I mean, it's already got rally tires on. Well, we'll see how this is, because I'm using that, uh, the Lamborghini SUV, not the not the Euros, but the LM002, the old square one. I made that my S1 off-road car, and it had me the app had me take the uh, anti-roll bars all the way down to one and like flatten or like totally flat and soften out the springs so I mean we'll see what happens but she doesn't really I mean she really leans in the corner yeah wait where's the thing on the road? So, I mean, this thing goes in a straight line and lands really softly, but once you think about turning, it's like, slide, and you didn't, it doesn't really come back from that. Oh. The spoiler option is the tire. On the road. For what, the Escort? No, the... Rally cross beetle. Oh, that has a tire option on the roof? Going to the rear wing. Yeah. The only option 
is a tire on the roof. See, I wouldn't have figured the rally cross car having a tire on the roof. But hmm, what do you know? Probably all close to put it in that car. Well, I just saved 75 pounds off the car. Taking the tire off it. And that's gonna be one of those cars where I'm gonna pick it, I'll probably get a bit of a storm, and it's gonna be horrible. Like, but we gotta race it, find a way. Yep. Wheels bone shaker. Pass. D O T D T one. What the hell is D O T D? Is that Day of the Dead or Dawn of the Dead or something? Ah, uh, might be. Yeah. I'm ready. Cause whatever I got, I got the I got to get the D O T D three T-shirt. Well, that was a massive roll. <laughs> Whoops. Where am I right? Oh, you're good. I'm thinking about disregarding this uh, freaking setup, anyways, on this thing and stiffening out the springs and the anti roll bars a bit because, I mean, it does go over rough ground in a straight line. Great. It's just when you try to turn, it's not so great. So I may do a bastardized um, setup on this because I'm going to go back into the app and tell it that I put the uh, I want to do for a street tune. What's the difference between Forza Horizon 4 and Motorsport 7? Well, that's pretty simple, man. Um, Forza Horizon 4 is more open world. Uh, it's more arcadey than simulation. And when you get done with the race, you will drive to the start of the next race. And it's like a little mini race in between. On uh, Motorsport 7, I haven't played it, but Matt here has. And motorsport games are always just on track. So at the end of the race, you'll go into a load screen, you'll pop back at the next race, and then you'll end up on the starting track or the starting grid, and then you go from there. Leave that, anything that's, out, Matt? That's, well, it's pretty um, accurate. You know, the motorsport series is more, I don't really want to call it a hardcore sim, but it's. It's supposedly more simulation based. Our um, the Horizon series is slightly more arcadey, and it's an open world, like was said, exploration where you you are the boss of your festival, which is like a music festival. So there's a sub story there. Um, but yeah, the Motorsport series. I only really have Motorsport Seven, but um, it's track focus there are no well there are some on road street circuits but it's all racing that's all there is it's racing um depends what you want to do if you want to have an open world drive around like just load into the game you don't have to do anything in the horizon series you can load into the game and just drive all over the map just for the fun of it and not do a damn thing like racing or anything whereas in the motorsport series that's what you're doing is racing so i mean that's my take on it anyways. It just depends what you want to do that day. Personally, I like the Horizon series better. In fact, I don't think I've bought... I might have bought Motorsport 6, but I'm not sure. But I didn't buy 7 because I was having way too much fun in the Horizon series where I think I'm I'm done with the Motorsports more, most likely. But well, that's my opinion on it. Matt Matt likes the motorsport stuff. He's into the simulation stuff. Yeah, I like the the racing in 
the Motorsport 7, uh, it's not as... It's not so much like a wreck fest like this can be. I mean, you you still get that because because you're racing against other people and they're going to do whatever they're going to do. But the racing feels more like racing, whereas in here it feels like you took your car that you showed up to the racetrack with and went racing with it. Because yeah, you're, you mm. you've got more race prepped vehicles. Let's put it that way in the seven. Kind of, yeah. And yes, I am jacking the springs and the anti-roll bars back up on this Lamborghini truck because I did not like how it attempted cornering otherwise. I like how I, like, go to favor the car and I wind up getting into it instead because I forget to down-click. Yes, thou must down click. There is some stupid shit that happens in this game, though. Yeah, and sometimes it's fun, and sometimes it's, you know, you pull your hair out. Like, like for instance, when I got on here, I went to the auction house, and it was featuring... A car that's no longer featuring. It was featuring a Dodge Durango. And each one of the cars has a little thing. If you look at what's on the screen now, it says Epic off to the left of that car in the center. The Dodge Durango was popping up at, under the rare category. I go into the auction house go under Dodge Durango there is a shit ton in the auction house well then I go to the auto show the car is literally in the auto show so you can just buy the Dodge Durango whenever you want but it's classified as rare well, I'm thinking it's in terms of, that's in terms of like what you're gonna find in England I don't know I don't know that you're really gonna find a whole lot of Dodge Durangos over there in England I think yeah, that's I how they look that up and see what they're I think it's how, how, how they find them. I think it's how they mean that. And that's another thing that's the difference between Motorsports series and the Horizon series. Yeah, Motorsports still has the auction house, but it doesn't have the wheel spins that well seven does have the character customizations, but you don't see your face or your hair. So basically you're putting on different racing helmets and different jackets and or racing suits and whatnot. Um but there's no like, like the wheel spins and anything like that. For instance, this area. You get areas like this in the map that you can dink around on and do whatever the hell you want. Which you can't do on uh, motorsports. Yeah, like I say, if, the, if you want just to go and drive and do whatever... The Horizon series is great for that because you just don't do that in motorsports because wherever you drive, you're on the track and you're either attempting to like dial in your car or race or something. And I just got a follow from Commander Root, so thanks for the follow for that. Um, if you're watching my channel, then you must be bored, I guess. So It's a bot. Oh, is it? Well... That's cool. Yeah, that it's one of the bots that I kicked out of my channel. <laughs> oh, great. You found mine then. Okay. I had like eight bots on my channel at one time. I started finding ways to oh, kick shit, them out. Oh, shit. Did I save that? That would be brilliant if I forgot to save my tune. Nope, I saved it. Alright, let me give Harv an invite here. And we'll start racing. And south side, I hope that Shit. uh hope we figure out what what one you wanted. Well I mean it kinda of depends what your finances are too, because if you're like me and you want the ultimate uh, content then you get the ultimate editions. 
they're 105 bucks 99 after tax. So, uh, but with the help of like Christmas and gift cards and whatnot, I managed to grab both at the same time, obviously, because Motorsport 7 came out last year and this came out last month. But I would almost say that if you can afford it, and you think you might want to try both styles of gameplay, then most definitely get them. Because they're both fun in their own way. Ooh. That's good kills. What did you do to get some more clothes or a horn? 911 GT2 RS. Yep, I do want that. I may have actually got that from a wheel spin at some point, but I, I want it either way. <laughs> Quick, go put it in the auction house for $5. I'll be right there. I won't use it, so if you want it, I will put it in the auction house for you. You're yeah. Be quick on the buyout for it, though. Well, right, but the minimum buyout is still going to be probably several hundred thousand. Um. You guys send me an invite? Yeah, I think I sent Matt one instead of you or something. I don't know. Yeah, because I already got one. You sent me another one. I got one. <laughs> oh, I got one. Let's see. Do I already even have it? I don't have that. Yeah, like I said, Horizon's the one that I go for. We're going to fire up some racing here in a second. I'm going to go see what the minimum is going to be on this damn car. See if Matt can get it or not. I still think they should put a thing in the game. I mean, I understand why they don't do it, because it would kind of fuck up the whole auction house thing, but... Um... They need to do something to where when I get cars I don't want, I can give them to my friends. Trade. Have trades. Yeah, that'd be neat. Yeah. Or something to that effect. Alright, starting price is 32000 and buyout would be 173000 That's not half bad. Let me, um... I'm going the wrong way to get to Porsche. You said it was the 2018 RS? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 911 GTR2, or GT2 RS. Yep. Let's see, I see them in here for 300, 500. So I'm saying if you want it, I'll drop it in there, but you're going to have to be quick before someone else buys it out. No, we can try it. All right, I, I, don't, I, don't, for, what? I don't know where it's going to put you at, but... Oh, I don't give a crap. I got enough money. Well, no, I meant where it's going to put you at in the list. Uh, It, it goes by auction link, so I'm going to put it in for an hour. Okay. So you're going to want to search for the actual car. Right. Now let me know when you... It's now listed. Okay, let's see if it comes up. Fifty-nine minutes, buyouts 200, 173, is that one what you're talking about? 173,000 it should be. Alright, that's Something cheap like enough. That. If you click on it, it'll tell you that I'm the seller. Of course, if you don't buy mine, it's not going to hurt my feelings. Yeah, but I think it was yours. Three was the cheapest you could get. Yep, that works. You should get a notice on that, so. Yep, so then you get your Porsche. I know you're a Porsche guy, so. I do like, well, I like a lot of cars. Um, I just so happen to like certain 911s better than others. Alright, 
and I'm about to go break the bank. Maybe. You're about to do what? Yeah, I think that would run it okay. He has a 750 Ti. Run. I don't know if it'll run it okay. Run. My game just crashed. Run Horizon 4 okay? Yeah. Well, what's, depends what the rest of the system is. I mean, because I think the minimum... I don't have the minimums in front of me, actually, but... Oh, you said your game crashed? That was why you left? Okay. Yeah, I'm putting it back up. Well, for reference, I'm running the game on a AMD FX8350, not overclocked, so it's stock 4 gigahertz. I've got 16 gigs of RAM, and the while well, I was running it at first on the 1060, a 6 gigabyte card, now I'm on a 1078 gigabyte card, and it runs fantastic. Um, you know, I don't know how it would do on a 750. I assume at least if you've got at least two gigs of RAM, it'd probably run okay. Or not I two. just put uh, requirements up on my screen. Oh, okay. That helps. Yep, that probably would help. I'm actually going to try something here. Too while we're at it. Kids from across the country are taking on the biggest. Says the minimum CPU is an Intel Core i3, forty-one seventy or higher. Yeah. Saturdays at seven, only on Universal Kids. Three. Recommended is an i i seven thirty eight twenty yeah. or higher. Yeah, it's always going to recommend recommended um, Intel stuff because that's what everybody bases everything off of. Well, that's because AMD was so dead in the water for the longest time with making new cores. Yeah, that too. And that's what I think Intel probably pays companies too for that shit but and minimum is a 650 ti hmm. recommended is a 970 so you're in between the recommended and the medium i don't know what the cpu equivalents are to from AMD to the i the i three and the i um, seven, but no well, i sevens are depending on which generation you know it could be equivalent to the eighty three fifty like I have or your Ryzen you know chips. I threes are you know still decent, but they're a lower end chip. I was lucky enough that my wife let me spend the money on a 1080 Ti. Yeah, there is that. <laughs> welcome back. Well, it wouldn't be welcome back if you didn't abruptly send me packing. Right. Oh, yeah, that's in there. All right. Now, I, as I was saying before, the game rudely kicked me. I'm about to go spank, spend all my freaking money and be flat broke besides just shy of $300,000. On what? Houses? Oh, you get yep, by that $10 million, million dollar house. Yeah. I got two houses left to buy. One's 10 mil, one's 15 mil. So I'm about to $10 million dollar house. Which gives me a barn five rumor and ten wheel spins. The other house gives you a piece of crap car that I'll probably sell.
No, I do not want to set this up in my house. Is it going to be the one you're thinking it was? I swear to God, if that's the same one that you can buy in the store. It shouldn't be. Right. I'm going to go see if it's the same one that's in the store or not. It looks like it. It looks like it. If it's the same one as in the store, I'm gonna be pissed that the bar and find is the same thing you can buy in the game store. I'd be surprised if it was. Yeah, the one in the store is a Bentley 1931 game meter. Right. So, barn finds. Oh my god. Alright. So, a barn find is a 1931 four and a half liter supercharged thing. And it's a convertible instead of a heart. So, it looks like the same damn car. That's obviously different closer. Yeah, almost half the size. Yeah. Come on, guys. We've got more creative plants. And it would be pointless to sell it because everybody gets that car, so... Well, no, everybody doesn't get that car if they don't buy that castle. True. Alright, so I got some wheel spins to use. Should have this one now, yep. But then we'll get the racing starter. Uh, I've been saying that for like 20 minutes now, but I promise we will get the race starter. <laughs> now I got a 911 <laughs> GT3 04. <laughs> the game's like, you will have some Porsches. And I'm like, no, I won't. Here, have another. Have another. Oh, now our club is a different uh, did, background. Did it finally change? Well, it looks like it's got like your goat or whatever on it. Whatever that is. It's a yak. Okay. Yakety sax. I'm winning some of my money back. Yeah, see, sometimes when you, close. when I bought that one house that gave me ten free wheel spins, the first four super wheel spins were great. I got like a couple of really awesome cars. I got a shit ton of money, and then the next six super wheel spins, I got mostly clothes and horns and emotes. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> mm-hmm. Good news is, I heard that once you uh, unlock the shit, it doesn't show back up in the wheel. Oh, yes, so it does. eventually, shit, really? I swear I've gotten multiple multiple um, versions of it, or, yeah, multiples of certain things. Cars, maybe, but the clothes you shouldn't be getting multiples of. I don't think I got multiples of the clothes, but I think I've got multiples of like um emotes and crap i could be wrong oh lovely 
it, it, I could be wrong because I don't want them and maybe I'm just thinking that I'm always getting them, but... Yeah, I just got all three clothes that time. There you go. But I gotta, I gotta take time one of these days and just go through this garage and weed shit out and tune stuff that I want. Because I'm going through it. I, I forgot that I got this other McLaren car. I've got five other Mercedeses that I've never touched, including the G Wagon for an off road car. The G Wagon. I've got a whole crap ton of Nissans. Yeah, I got a bunch of different versions of the GTR. I've only got one. Well, well, I've got different years of the GTR, but I've only got like one of each of them. Which is kind of okay, because that's kind of what I wanted. Alright. Alright. So, has Nick found his way in here? Do I gotta send Nick an invite? Yes, I gotta send invite. Nick an invite. Alright. And one of these days, I also have to set up one of my countless Subarus as a off-road car as well. You know, I used to be a big fan of supercars in these racing games, but in Horizon, uh, my game's just locked again. What are you doing at the same time? Uh, I backed out of inviting Harvey to the group. I mean, like, what if you got something going on in the background of, on your PC or whatever? No, nothing that's new. Hmm. I don't see any reason. for it to be, like, you know, stopping it because it's getting too hot or anything, so. Well, I didn't know if maybe you were had something going on in the background and you were hitting 100% CPU usage and your computer's going, nope. While you're doing that, I'm going to try and do a quick and dirty tune on the uh, Local Motors Rally Fighter. Quick and dirty! Dirty! You know what I do love is how these games, you can play it one day, and it runs perfectly fine. You get on here the next day, and the motherfucker keeps locking up on you. Yep, it is great like that. It's it's perfect. Hey, quit chewing on that motherfucker. Gotta shoot for you chew on. Hey, don't talk dirty like that to your rabbits. Bastards. Got this really nice. Are you serious? Did it lock up before you even... Yep. Wow, you're having a great night. Alright, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to end the stream. I'm going to restart my computer. And I will fire the stream back up. Alright, sounds like a plan.
Yep. Meanwhile, if anybody's watching this, I'm making a quick tune on this car here. Oh, you have a quick booting PC. Mm hmm. That's what happens when you got 32 gigs of RAM. Well, and you got a faster processor and everything like that. Yeah, mine actually boots pretty quick too, but sometimes when it's off, off, it, uh, I don't know if my Windows install is weirded out, but it takes a couple of times to actually get things right on booting. So I gotta boot it, and then like some of my USB stuff doesn't show up, so I gotta reboot it. Pretty much every time the power goes, like the power shuts off on it. Anti roll one point seven, no. Okay, well I guess I can't quite do what they want. Alrighty. Alrighty. We'll try this shit again. I'm starting the game back up. The only thing I can think of, and I will laugh my ass off if it's a problem and be pissed at the same time, and that is Windows updated today when I turn my computer off before work. Oh, yeah. So maybe it's Windows update fucking with the game, which would be hilarious considering Microsoft Studios made the game. Or I had their hands in it anyways. Yeah, I think they're the publisher. Turn 10 is the developer. Like I said, quick and dirty tune on the Rally Fighter because that wanted. Well, it has it comes stock with the Rally suspension. That's all it has. But I did a street tune via the app, and it wanted things set way higher than you can even think about doing with the um, with the Rally suspension. Invites one more time. We're gonna see if this shit will work this time. cap. You got a what? A fat Mullins cap. Alright, fuck it. Going to quick play. Okay. And I did Try put... to get some play in here. I did put... Shit goes to hell. I did put that multi-stream link in your chat as well, just for the shits. 
I do see that. Yep. One of these days, we're gonna have to put that shit so my bot wall and I can post it up there. And of course, of course, S2 off the gate. Hey, at least it's summer and it's on road. <laughs> Ooh. Save my new car. Yay. I'll give you a new car. <laughs> oh, yeah? Right out. Let's see what I do. If I would have thought about it, I would have tuned that new 911 GT2. But instead, I got a different, different Porsche. Streamer mode on. And that's something too, is I will find any tree that's around. Oh, are you right there behind me? Yeah. Um, well, I've got the ray suspension on it. This is meant to be my on-road, like, track weapon. I just went up to a corner and didn't realize it was a T-corner that didn't go straight at all, so... Hence the field. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Waiting for players to be ready. Yep. There we go. Oh, and then now we're in dirt, <laughs> dirt autumn. Sweet. Dirt. I got an A class car for this shit that I've been waiting to use for two days now. Yes, you have. <laughs> And I love my dirt racing. Actually, I like pretty much all the 800 stuff. That's why I wish you could, like, do it by class. Like, if you like the 800 stuff, just go, yeah. you, like, you know, have the random quick racing like it is now if you want it. Well, then have it so people can go, I only want to race A class and click on that shit and just do random A class stuff. Mm hmm. I know they don't do it for a reason, because they want all the people to be in there and have it quick to get into the shit, but... Yeah, when you, when you start breaking it down, like, say I wanted to only do road racing uh, Class A in the summer, now you've probably got, like, five people that want to play that. Well, I, I mean, don't get that specific. Right. They do, like, A class, S1 class, S2 class. Yeah. Hmm. I could live with that. Yeah. If you got the fuckers that want to be real slow, D class. <laughs> have it take all day to do three laps. You know, sometimes B class is fun. I mean, any any lower than that, and it starts. You know, there's not a lot of challenge because, like C and D, you can almost floor them and still make every corner. Yeah, B, A, and S one would be my three sweet spots. Obviously, I like A, but I can I can do S1 and I can do B class. S2 class is just a chaotic mess, and anything below B class is just snail racing at that point. I like S2 is just launched on the street. Yeah, well, you can't race S2 race. without banging off everybody. Yeah, but you can do a lot of racing without banging off each other. Just at the start. I'm driving a pink car. Yeah, I thought that I didn't expect you to have a pink Trans Am. <laughs> October anymore, you know. Uh, DX is on the other team, haha. No. no, he's not. He's not, I'm just fucking with Okay. Way. 
Like, uh, no, I'm the top of the list of the red team. I speak. Holy crap, that guy's got some time into this game. There's the on our team. He's a prestige four, level fifty four already. So that Damn. means he's he's gone through almost like a thousand levels. Actually, probably fifteen hundred levels. This is one of those courses oh. that's dirt racing, but there's hardly any dirt. Hey, he's trying to take you off and start you. Saw I saw that. that. I saw that. Ain't that fast. Those corners, good. Is there any dirt on this damn track? Yeah, I'm sure. I think we've done this track before. Up here. Push it mad a little bit. It's straight and it turns. It's always driving the... Uh, Yeah, my car does not like necessarily being on the asphalt. That the last. That dick put me into a tree. He gave you wood. <laughs> I would have passed him too. But nope, and shove me into a tree like a little bitch. Oh, I see pictures of Griffin. Ha! You trying to say I'm a barnyard animal, you bastard? Hey, you picked a barnyard animal. Yeah, I thought, I thought you were a chicken fan. Only if it's. Oh, black sheep. It's not a sheep. Heck is it? Go. Nope. Cow. Nope. Monkey. Yeah, it's a monkey. You got it. <laughs> it swings from tree to tree all nimbly bimbly. Nimbly bimbly. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> like eating bananas out of your hand. There's a banana joke again. Corrected the slide. Oh, you check. Yeah, I know. 
<laughs> Was that the gold card? Hello. Oh. I'm after smoke. You pushed me to a fucking tree. Oh. Found a rock. Smoke guy pushed. Smoke guy pushed me to a tree. Yeah, the guy that pushed me to a tree was the gold Bentley. No, oh, it's the blue and black car. I love glitches over there. I'm driving underwater. But now I'm just. Never mind. They fixed it. It's so hot. I'm going 322 miles per hour though. In first gear. That's a good trick. <laughs> My screen's all blue. It's not an off-road car. I didn't have a suspension trial before that. Okay. Going okay, through the fields, just stop. bouncing all over the damn place. Hey, recent. Thank you. Guy just slid in with the garage in front of me. That was hilarious. Yeah, I could probably raise this. I got motor. Hey. Stuck. I'm out. Hopefully. Yeah, bastard. With the continental. Oh, there we go, we got the uh, switchbacks there towards the start. Bentley for two Ford focuses. Yeah, I kinda I, I would do I do kinda wish there was a way to turn off the uh, stupid emotes so you don't have to watch everybody's do do their stupid dances every time. Ah, uh, shit, shit, shit. I swear I had tuned this car, you know, and it worked fine yesterday, but today it's a little bit more slidey than yesterday. I got, I got turns. I'll take the turns. Turn time to take over.
track and behind you now, man. How are you? I, I mean, I'm not right behind you. I'm way back, but I'm behind you. Well, now you can put a guy in between us. I just, take, just took me to the street. Turn. Oh, what? Ah, uh, shit, shit, shit. That worked really fucking well. Yeah, we all crashed there. That was fun. Yeah, I went. I was to the inside of the track and realized what corner was coming up, hit the brakes, and my car kicked out the opposite way of the corner. So that was, you know, that was awesome. Sorry about that, Harvey. I got butt fucked back there in that corner. Yeah, I just got ran by Shadow Guy in front of you. He pushed into the wall. I mean, you should say he kept me at the wall. He's five. Can't break while you're in the air either. Nope, not so much. Because their teammates are fighting for each other. <laughs> Talk about me and the SUV. On the same team. <laughs> you and the same team guy. <laughs> Which I, well, got I cut in front of you because of that. <laughs> hey, all I gotta say is that asshole started pushing on me first, so I put him into the wall and got back in front of him. Yeah, Taito King was we'll you and him were fighting at the finish line. They came on the outside. I don't I don't play that game. You're gonna fucking push my car around, I'm gonna push back. Even on the same team. I don't care. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Yeah, there's there's times you just get to your breaking point and you say, Alright, gloves are off. No more Mr. Nice Guy. We we're going out straight away, side by side. It was clear I was gonna wind up going faster. So he started pushing on the side of my car and trying to push me off the track. So yeah, I I went right to get away from him, and then went left and pushed his ass off the track <laughs> into the wall. Fuck and him. I came around <laughs> and took it to park. <laughs> I'm all about clean racing, but if you're going to push me, I'm going to push you back. Fuck that shit. I'm not going to be a punching bag. And the fact that my Trans Am pushed a SUV off the track is hilarious. I think it was like this, that thing showed you ahead of me, but I still got four. Are we playing a farm sim or are we playing a racing game? Oh, are you farming? It's probably more oh, hay bales. Oh, you're, uh, you're on John, John Deere, yeah. I know that's why you want. I know that's why you want farming simulator. You want that? John Deere. I mean, it's cooler putting the, you know, another American company into it, just very deep European game or something like that. But come on a minute. Most of the John Deere tractors I've seen modded into the game are right. low horsepower tractors, so there's really no reason to use them. Oh, oh, I'm 
stuck. Rocks. On game, get all these fucking rocks out of here. Where's Matt? Nah, no, Matt, going on this side is not gonna be pretty. Oh shit. Come on. We're going to go two miles per hour. What the hell? Alright, I ain't gonna make it there. I'm gonna be close though. No. Fuck. I'm right under the this damn mountain. I'm right under the train bridge. I got stuck on the mountain. If I wouldn't got stuck, I would have did a lot better. Yeah, I couldn't. It wouldn't let me get past three miles per hour on that mountain. Or in a gun hole. I'm still gonna make it. <laughs> I hauled ass up that mountain until I got stuck. Definitely gotta bring my ground clearance up on this car. Well, see, so yeah, I want to do that, but it's meant to be a dirt car, so I want it to be actually good in the on the dirt races, and maybe sacrifice a little bit for the free roams. This car's great on dirt and road. Well, I I have this thing slammed so much that on the starting screen, if the front tires are turned slightly, they glitch into the fenders. Gotcha. I mean, this thing's like on the ground damn near. It's like hot rod style height. Actually, I, I unlocked that. Pushing again. I felt the gold uh, continental was behind me. Push. Well, I got uh, pushed in the front end by that hey. bowler and somehow made my back end go around. Oh, Griff uh, kept me sideways. That was fun. I try straight you back <laughs> out, man. You're up against <laughs> the side in front of my car. There's just so much I can do about it. You kept me going forward. Hey, look, dirt. I have to start. Yay. Torture guy going at it. You see you put me in the wall again? Yep. I was racing with me, but you want to start hitting me again. Yep. Somebody's pushing me. I'm in between two cars. Nope, see ya. Oh, sideways again. Why did you say see ya? Because he's Nick uh, Harvey says between two cars and I was one of the cars and I left him, so Yeah, him and some other guy were fighting, so I kinda actually went up and passed them both. Nope. He's still fighting me. Still trying to push you off the damn We're gonna walk in the wall, he's gonna hit me. Now see, this race is actually handling this track pretty alright, except for that one corner that I really, really, really screwed up. Oh, 
Uh, so, yep, and now we're back onto the pavement, so... I... That'll just, this car is good for turning. If I catch up. Here we go, oh, five, six, seven. Place. And we lost. Ha, he ended up nine. Fuck you, buddy. It's Bentley. Yep, Bentley bastard. Fuck him. I need to tighten up the gearing on this car a little bit more, too. I need, I need to make the first gear bigger and make the rest of the gears smaller so I can get some more pull. Yeah. Duty wins. Yeah, like right now, my car is so low that like the top of the tires are up in the wheel wells. And my chin splitter is almost on the ground. Let's see. This what car's I... got that big ass Trans Am split chins underneath it. Oh yeah. No. Oh, I almost got glam boots. Damn, but instead I got twenty five thousand cash. Oh, yeah, I got ten damn. G's. I got, I almost got some pink boots. Monta four hundred for the buzz. Oh, the oh. winter cross country S yes, one. Opal Manta four hundred. It's actually a pretty decent rally car, but it's rear wheel drive, so it's kind of twitchy. The S1. So S1 off road. What did I just make for that? Oh, I, I just took down the hooligans and upgraded that for this one. It is off road, right? Ah, uh, cross country. Yep. Same difference. Yeah. Well, no, not same difference, but yeah, I that's what I meant. I still have rally players on this pick. Yeah, uh, I do. Uh, okay. Uh, well, we're, uh, yeah. we're going to see what happened with this bastardized setup that I put on this Lamborghini truck. You know, I have that old Lamborghini truck too. I want it. Yep. I went to actually bought mine because I was like, hmm, that'll make a good truck or a good off roader. Yeah, I want my Lambo. I'll do with that. Well, it's probably the first time I use this car in an off road race, so we'll be interested to see how this is going. Apparently, I have it sitting lower to the ground too. It's a new thing I was trying to do so the car didn't get as much uh, body roll and shit in it. Make it handle a little bit better. What, put them way on the ground? Yeah, lower them even if they're rally cars. Well, hopefully it doesn't bottom out too bad for you. Yeah. I mean, it's not slammed, but it's still pretty low to the ground. For an off-road vehicle, I guess. Woo! He's still in here. He's driving a Super WRX this time. Level five. And the other guy is driving a Kent Bentley Continental. A real addition. It's his little clan mate. Where's the addition? And your Tito King that you were battling with that one race is on the other team too. Yeah, fuck that. I'd rather, really rather not. Fuck out of here. Hurry up. Ooh. Yep, she still likes to slide all over in the corners. So this will be a race where I just fight for it. For control of my own car, that is. Woo! Careful off the jump. If you go too far left, you're going to land face on the cliff side. Yep. I landed almost on a Mini and a, and a Mustang. Oh, I missed the checkpoint, motherfucker. I swear I got it with a door mirror, but apparently not.
Ooh, we got some ice too. Oh yeah? Proper off roading now. Woo! First place for our team. Fuck y'all. Okay. Again, can I pass? You cannot. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I can just imagine here. Can I not? Yeah, exactly. Now maybe some of the things we were talking about at work, sure, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We still lost, I don't care. I beat their whole team, that's all I care about. The guy that was, uh... That fucker was, uh, hanging with me the whole time. We kept trading spots and he overshot a curve on the ice and, <laughs> and that was it. He slid way out on that ice. Yeah, I caught back up a little bit. My uh, my car didn't handle real good at the beginning. Well, I should say I didn't handle my car real good, i put it that way. Yeah, in order to get in, right. in order to get this thing into um, S1, I had to put the racing V12 engine in it. Ooh. So it does put out a pretty good noise and a pretty good turn of speed. But I've got something like 1300 horsepower, so it's not exactly the most stable thing. Turn when it is safe to do and so. here, bro, what in the world did I just hit that was invisible, apparently? Right. Yeah, no. right. Might have been. Driving tonight. So much fun. It is, man. Through the forest of the dead. Oh, there's stumps. There's stumps in the forest. Yeah, I saw those. We're getting out of cheese park. Apparently, some of the stumps are invisible. That was a hell of a jump over me there, Griff. If that was you, I think I it was. Like it. I landed and went head on into a tree. In 400 yards, a Damn it. I was avoiding all the trees by kind of crisscrossing, and one of them was a crisscross too far. Ah! I love trees, what you say? Tree hugger. Yep, so is my car. My car is very much a tree hugger. Turn around my ass. Yeah, I know, the objective's straight ahead. I'm not turning around. Oh, under the bridge. What in the yeah, world? Look at what's in front of my damn car and not what's ahead. Ah! Yeah. Yards. Turn right. Ah. I didn't realize if this car would be done, it wouldn't be driving anymore. The wreck that I put it in a couple of them. I mean, you're in under the bridge and hit the post, I'd be dead. Fourth, huh? Loose? Oh, I'm stuck on rocks. Yeah. Upside down. Yay. Don't let me go. To, I'm right there! So a bitch! Jeez, guys, I crossed the finish line like hours ago. So, I, it made me fly. I flew over it. 
and then I was stuck on the wall. I still got 300 points being stuck on a freaking rock. Uh, we tied. Look at all those cows. Oh, and like we were, you were wondering yesterday, my graphics card has been sitting about in the low 40s, low to mid 40s for temp. While, while gaming. Mine's sitting at 58 degrees right now. But I don't have my, you know what I mean? I don't have the fans turned way up. Right. They're sitting at 1,400 RPMs right now. Yeah, mine are at 1,900 RPMs. Yeah. I'll probably fuck with my curve a little bit, but... Yep, I wanted mine cooler because this thing heats up my room. Otherwise, I mean, it heats it up anyways, but it heats up real good if I have the fans turned down. Yeah. Of course, my CPU is sitting at 57, too. I'm at 38. Damn Ryzen cards, man. Fucking wrong water shit. Well, maybe you need to put some ice water in your water cooling. It's a closed loop. I can't open it or I try it. I know. There was people who would do that, though. Well, not with a closed loop, but with a... Um, open loop water cooling, they'd run their water um, source through like a styrofoam cooler with a bunch of ice in it. Yeah. And it, and it did help, but eventually it melted all the ice and shit. Really? Yep. I mean like through over the course of like a land party, so over the course of like a, a day of really hard gaming. No, there's like no checkpoints for me. None? Like seriously, there are no checkpoints. Right, Apparently I missed the checkpoint way the fuck back here. That I never right off the beginning. Yeah, there's three of us. Well that explains a lot because I fucked up pretty good and I'm in second place. I'm not sure how. There is three of us from my R team. Well, no. Me and then I missed another one. What the fuck? Um, me and three blue guys, or two blue guys, I'll, I'll miss the same checkpoint right at the start of the raid. Okay. Hey, why? Shit. Now I gotta play catch up. Did I miss the checkpoint? You did? How are you saying I'm spinning the checkpoint miss? Told you, the checkpoints were being a bitch. Well, they're working fine for me. Uh, for now. I fucking rock. Don't worry, I'm in the last spot far, so. I gotta go this way if so I turn around now. That was the first. I'm at the don't worry, I'll push you. Okay, this never happens. I don't usually win, and if I do, it's never by like a billion miles. <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> oh, I have been disconnected. Yeah. Uh, I bet you that server was having fucking issues. Could be. Well, I'm going to take a break a quick minute and make a pit stop. So I will That's be right fine. back. I'm going to make some tuning changes to those cars. I'm ready to start my car soon, good. Yeah, the problem was the uh, uh, the checkpoints were, weren't turning. You know how they always face you? Yeah. They weren't turning, so they're like paper thin, so you couldn't see them. Because that checkpoint that I sideswiped you, and we went too far. Yep. I couldn't see the. Uh, I couldn't see the uh, checkpoint until we were sliding by it, and then I could see the flag. I. Uh... I bought Winter Soldier. I got a pack for him today. 
Yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't say anything about him being with Captain America. No, 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 no. But they'll work together. Like, if you're doing the uh, campaigns to where oh. you can use villains and heroes, you get, like, bonuses from certain heroes will give a bonus to another hero. I guess those two, like, give bonuses to each other and will actually team up on some battles and shit. Yeah, how do you find that out? Because you usually should be able to find that out somehow. Um, yeah, when you go on your team, you'll have a little green circle with a number in it. And you click on that circle, and it'll tell you what the oh. uh, bonus is. Oh, I didn't do that for when I put them together. Oh, that's weird. He's not... Uh, we can do that or uh and I'm back Dave, the yellow shirt but yeah it figures that the game crashed out like that because I actually won a race <laughs> that's kind of shitty oh well I still won the race I mean I mean I get credit for it but I still know I won Hey, I want a Ferrari California tea. Thank you. Nice. I'll get copyright claimed for that. I, left I just hit the wrong button and turned my radio on for a split second. Ah. So I'm going to go get my Pontiac real quick and raise that up a little bit. Because it really looks like it's sitting low. Well, I thought the same thing about my charger I was just using when I went in and looked at it it was sitting at nine inches off the ground. Well this is only sitting at four or five eight. Yeah well nine inches is shorter than you think. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I, yeah. Poor network connections. Play may be affected. Oh yeah, I want to change the uh, transmission up a little bit in this thing too. Who's gearing? You know what? I'm gonna take a second here, guy, and I'm gonna use the uh, the app to uh, get my gearing base on this car. Well, then adjust from there. Yep, works for me. Oh, 
Oh yeah, and I don't, I don't think either one of you guys take this way, obviously, Griff, I know you don't because you live the other way, but going in and out of work through downtown Rockford um, since Wednesday, you know, after Halloween, um, they've been putting up the uh, Christmas lights around the light poles. Oh yeah? Yep. So it's like, okay, Halloween's done, let's break out the Christmas crap. Power last time? No, I just checked shit. Okay. But I actually made the launch the acceleration higher, but Tire type. Of course, you probably want the off road tires on it, don't you? Yeah. Makes it go up. That's half the thing is when you're building a car to a certain spec number, you gotta figure out what's your best route of getting there. 
Yeah. Alright, so let's bring this app up here and see if we can pop out. Please sit back here. Please do not use vehicle in the game. No, I'm just Yeah. Ultimate Air covers that. That was an air fucking airplane right there. So I'm getting one more horsepower out of it, and I'm gaining three pounds from the original set. Hmm. Well, I just parked my truck down by the down by the river. Actually, it's down by kind of like the lake. I'm just gonna sit there for a while and chill. Look out the window, listen to the radio. You know. Yeah. Well, in real life, I would probably do that, and obviously in the game, we're going to be doing racing, I assume. Yep. I just want to get this knocked out real quick. No, you're good. Yeah, I mean, they've got the ambient yeah. sound going pretty good in this. You know, the water, you know, rolling by, you can hear that, the wind blowing through the trees. They're definitely putting the carrying close together for this beast. One nineteen. I guess a top speed of one seventy five. Wow. Uh, yeah, we're gonna test this out real quick because I don't even know if this car's got enough power to get to one seventy five. First gear has got to be huge. Oh yeah, first gear is a dog.
Oh yeah, it'll need a straightaway, but it can get there. Alright. Yeah, I shift in a second at like mid fifties. Wow. That's impressive. Arrived at your destination. Everybody ready? Yep. Both of you, we don't get fucked again. And joining. Welcome to Team Adventure. Welcome, welcome to Team Adventure. S1 Winter Racing. <clears throat> dirt Racing. S1 Winter Dirt? Yep. Hmm. No, we are just doing, huh? No, we were doing cross country. Cost 200. What do I want to do? Might well, help if I hit the uh, start button. Maybe. Ooh, I think I had major problems with this car, but oh, now what you use this in here? The untested car, so this should be. You're kind of your your voice comms are kind of cutting in and out. Yeah, yours were doing that for me earlier. I don't know what the hell's going on. All right. Well, I'm using an untested thing too. Well, apparently I have poor network conditions. Play may be affected. See, I, I thought about taking one of those out, but I haven't actually tuned it yet. It's in the bug. I'm at. Well, you, I backed up and you spawned in right where I backed out of. Bonded in there. I had intended to make this a cross country car, but we'll see what it does for off road. With the donuts with you. <laughs> you just made a perfect target down there. Oh, I'm trying to jump the hill and land on the rock. Look, I'm cliff climbing in my car. I'm spinning in one spot. I see down this spinning. I'm on the side of the cliff. That's you can go on so I see Matt cross the river. Yep. Meanwhile I'm playing spider. -Man. I missed. Watch my car do that. Yeah, oh, sorry. My wing off, man. You didn't have a winch point. I couldn't hook up to you. Yeah, right here's where I jumped from. Yeah, I don't doubt that. Oh, got a little 
higher than that. Oh. Wow, I just cleared the train tracks all together. So, train's coming. Well, in the Harry Potter movies, that would be the Hogwarts Express taking that track, so you know, if you get on that, then you can go to magic school. Where's the train? I'm winning. Do a barrel roll. Yeah. <laughs> the car it looks like it's all jacked up and shit. So all the tires were hanging because my body was sitting on the rocks. And I was in the process of doing a barrel roll, so one or two of my tires is off the ground, and... Jack in the crack. Oh boy. That sounds like a dirty movie. Mm-hmm. Hey, we've got Ken Block in here. I think we're all screwed. <laughs> yeah. Imagine that shit though if he actually was in the game. Just because you can drive that way in real life, don't mean you can in the video game. I know. It would be sick. Oh, I just got fucked. Yep, I just missed the checkpoint because this thing is not the car that I want to be in. Oh, it resets you when you miss checkpoints now. Well, at least it did that. Yeah, it did that time for me, too. Because it had reset me past the checkpoint that I missed the first time. Well, the first couple of times. My turn! Boy. You're in snow, son, so if you got racing tires on there, it's not going to turn like it's on asphalt. I'm bad because I was turning the wheel and it was going straight. It's a great game. I wanted to put my Toyota truck with my arm quickly and screwed over the last time I tried to do it. Yeah, I think you are going to want to retune that Toyota before you try and drive it. Because I remember when you, last time you had it out, you were not having uh, an absolute great time with it. Yeah. Great. Yeah, I almost picked my higher rated Rally Cross Beetle just and just drove it as it was, but I'm like, you know what, I really don't know what to get myself into if I did that. This thing, however, is not a whole lot better at, at this moment. This is definitely more of a cross-country vehicle and not a dirt racing vehicle.
Maybe a little. It's the only ones to keep it up with the red team. I don't know what you're talking about. The fact that I'm on the team that got points doesn't mean we're going to lose. <laughs> it's the only one that got points and we're not going to lose. <laughs> Yay, we're done with it though. Halloween costumes. I wear a skirt. Woo! Sick. Winter cross country eight hundred. Well, no, this is cross country instead of off road. Well, I know what I'm picking. Your nose? No. Okay. My butt. Oh, even better. Where is it? Oh, duh, I went right past her. Oh, Alexa, play Digger Digger. If you haven't seen that video, you gotta watch it. It's hilarious. I have not. Oh, by the way, I said Digger, D I G G E R, just to clarify. In case anybody was questioning that. Is that the premise of the video? Uh, the it's a kid trying to get Alexa to play a kid song or something on Alexa. Right. And, and it starts asking what type of porn they want to watch. Okay. And it starts listing categories. Uh. <laughs> and the parents are like, no, no, Alexa, no, Alexa, no. He keeps going, and finally the guy, the dad's like, Alexa, stop, and it shuts up. <laughs> the kid's looking around like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> All right, Alexa, we're unplugging you now. Exactly. I'm pretty sure it probably has a kid safe feature that they didn't have turned on, but... There's a video about a... A kid, and all he's ordering is a poop. No, Alexa. Alexa, show previous order. Something poop, poop, something poop. 500 pounds of poop. Is that a Trans Am in front of me on this mountain? Damn, how straight it is. That tank. No, bird. Makes me think I'm special. A Japanese yeah. chick. Yeah, very much. <laughs> they might look like me win, they think I'm a girl. Then you get a bunch of Xbox chat messages. How old are you? Can I see your panties? Be number one fan. Oh, toda saki saki. Start in dick pics of my inventory. Yeah. For my <laughs> you like my cow? So far, don't fuck it up and start being a dick. Yeah, the uh, 
trail cat that was by me kind of nicked me in the corner panel as we were going up and jump. And then I just overcorrected on a bump. I so. I just jumped over him. That place that mm -hmm. Well, there's only three people in here on our team, so it's clearly team coordinator right now. Not our team. Oh! Oh, I hit a tree. I'm gonna get stuck in. God damn. <laughs> Doing so good, too. So I hit a fucking tree. I almost won the race when I pink trans am. Maybe yeah. you. Too. Yeah, I finally finished. Well, it didn't help that our two guys quit, so they automatically each got 200 points. Yep. Man. Yeah. I had a good lead too before I hit that fucking tree. It pisses me off. I do every once in a while. I get like looking too far ahead and not pay attention to what's right in front of my car. Yeah, that'll happen. Uh, and tree. I shall not turn around. First gear is such a dog, but the rest of the gearing works so good. I don't really want to fuck with it. Oh, turning in first gear. Really. House? Nope, not a house. Oh, I hit a tree. I did not see in front of me. with my mirror. Almost there, almost there, come on, suck it, suck it. Damn it, I am. Yeah, I'm avoiding the house, look. I'm not turning around. I keep break, get trapped back down to fifth. Oh, oh. I keep bouncing oh, in the trees. The fuck! I said, wow! Come on, man, we were second, third, and you took us right to a freaking wall. You hit me to the wall! Oh, yeah, four to six. I said, wall, wall! Bam! Right in the back. <laughs> <laughs> there you 
do you think? Do you? I must have hit something on the outside of that corner and did a freaking barrel roll and end up nose into the wall. Oh, I love how it showed that the guy missed the checkpoint and still did Anybody knows the second blue team name? What about it? It's almost it's almost two of the people that we work with put together into one name. Kind of. Spelled a little differently, but yes. Yeah. Uh Damn, somebody's going crazy over there. My chair lover. Your chair lover? Chair lover. Oh, oh shit, I thought the first time you said chair lover, I'm like, um... <laughs> chair lover, damn it. <laughs> lover. <laughs> Loves this chair, he's a chair lover. I think the chair lover, go. What is with people yeah. fucking turning in front of me? I think that's the way to the point. Straight ahead. Now where the fuck are Yeah, you guys keep going. I don't even see it yet. Maybe I should. 
Oh, I don't know about that. It's not always a good idea. Should I run myself in the house? That funds in so low it's not. Those two bed in the front, they're not sure though. Catching up. Did not hit that tree. Ah, fuck. It was clear up here, and all of a sudden I come out of this tree line, and it's not clear. It's a freaking farm like complex. I mean, it's not just a house, it's like a series of houses and a garage and... You... in a barn ride? Yeah, seriously. The barn. Oh, I found the barn. Oh, what do you mean you went through the back door? Oh, I was definitely coming in the back door. Here, if I found a closet. Yeah, you gonna come out of it? I don't know, I gotta show you what's in it first. I'm not getting in a closet with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you only get in closets with Roscoe. Yeah, I'm stuck. I'm stuck on my side. Oh, I just flipped over in the water. Well, don't do that. Apparently, I wasn't the only one, though. Don't let me do anything. I'm stuck on my side. Mom, we're right. Yeah, I can't do that. Oh, I got past the water. Oh, jeez. I was going through the water there and it was fucking big rocks on the other side. Yeah, I'm off my side Ooh, now. Ooh, barely. We won by 50. Yeah, I would have done better if I had landed on my side. Well, we had a guy disconnect, so they instantly got a bunch of points for that. Excuse me. They had a full team, so they got 600 points just for that guy quitting. Yeah. All right. Here we go. For it all. Can't let them win. If they win, we're done. <laughs> if we win, we're done. No, if we win, they're done. Because we win. Right. But if they win, it's we lose. All us. They lose or draw. Oh, we have the advantage, we have less people. Yes, we have less people, but that means some of us have to get into the top and win in order to be having an advantage. Let's cross country race. We got this. Air race services. Cross country. Yeah, we got our good cars. Or how that you just keep going right and start. Every time it starts, tail catch, straight through. I'm power again. Sorry, I'm all fucked back here by this. I'm getting Fuck this. This trail cat wants really wants my ass. He actually just helped me go through a checkpoint, so that was good of him. And then I got pushed off oh, the fucking track. Oh, I got it. Oh, that was you that just went sailing off the right? Yeah. Well, it's the beach part. It's the beach one. Crap. Oh, it's the beach one? I'll do it. Well, I'm going to say I'll do okay, but I like this part coming up, so... I didn't do that, 
Eric, you're power wagging out of my face. They're grabbing me. I ram. <laughs> what? What just happened to you? Ram power wagon. Ram power for it. I have a big fist. Every time I decide banging, I'll disappear. I'm Barely for the last two blue to show up. There's one. Your crappy trail cat. Oh, didn't finish. You have a VW Willy car. Yeah, you can you can play in here, dude. It's an open room. Yeah, domination. Well, I will say though, I don't know how long we're gonna be on for since it's ten to four. Oh shit, it is ten to four. Fuck. I gotta go to work tomorrow. You, <laughs> you do? Yeah, I don't get fucked. Yes, to work tomorrow. Oh, that sucks. Oh. Appreciate the follow, man. Ooh. Oh, Honda. Autumn Street Racing 800. Yes, please. Well, it's, a, it's street racing, not road racing. So, this is the on road one with the uh, um, orange flares. Yeah, the orange flares. Hmm. Do I not have a favorited A-class road car? I do. I have two. We actually go my speeder. You know this what? I pretty decent last time, so I haven't raced this car much. I don't think at all. So let's see what happens. Oh, I haven't touched. What the muscle? Um. I guess, uh, friend me on Xbox so I know what your name is and I can invite you into here. But the room was currently full, so... Might have to wait a while to get you in. TTV... Correct. All right. After this race, I'll uh, try to get you in here. Ford Coupe, huh? Sadly, I apparently don't have any A-class cars that I like, so I'm favorited of the ones that I don't like. And this is the only road car I have favorited right now. I thought you liked that 65 Mustang. Yeah, but I'm just working with it. It's not where I want it to be yet. Ah. Boy, I hope this thing handles because it certainly doesn't seem to have the power. Oh, 
kiss my ass if I miss that. If I miss it, someone else missed it, I can tell you that much. But nope, I'm the only one that apparently missed it. Bullshit. It's a bunch of bullshit what that is. Oh, we got any left. Nice. <laughs> Oh, you gonna push me now? Oh, I'll push back. Woo! Play out. Well, I had made that corner, now I'm stuck on the fucking guardrail. I'm starting to remember the problem I had with this car, the top speed. Yeah, this doesn't really have the power. It seems to have the handling okay enough, but... Yeah, the handling of this thing is awesome. Okay. Seriously, so so the trade-up with these cars. You either gotta go one that's good at handling or one that's good at speed. Let's find that happy medium. You gotta have teammates that don't run you off the fucking road. I'm just referring to overall red team people. Overall red team people. Yeah. Whatever, who was ever in the Subaru Legacy? I don't think he meant to do it, he just can't drive. Ah, uh, you got lucky. Ran out of time. We still won that shit, though. Somebody left. I don't even know how I really invite him, though, during a game. I think we'd actually probably have to back out of this series in order to do that. Again, I'm not. It'd be easier if he just joined in and tried to search you out in the game. Because he could join your series in progress. Out. Okay. You should have got an invite, man. If you're even still in here. I don't see your name popping up. Which means you're probably not. Probably moves on. Try another guy. Yep, he's not even in here anymore. An hour later. Oh. Hey, T hey. Rex? Oh, there he is. Yeah, so he has joined the convoy. <clears throat> Come on. Just thinking about it. And. Boop. Oh, and, and he yes. Yep. And he's joined. Back and forth. He he's probably doing. Oh, he's probably gosh. trying to find a a gap to get in here. Well, there's room right now. On the other team, two spots. <laughs> he's still one. Destination. 
can't see through that snake. Don't turn away. I think I'm dead, though. A cop. Being shucked by other cops. That's the destination. Well, there you go. I just hit a pile of fucking hay bales and then bounced off into a tractor. I just hit a hay bale. I would have been better off staying on the road. Cross this leak. After the game. Your community car is lit. Well, maybe don't pour gas on it and light a match. <laughs> Road. Four hundred yards. Turn right. Wait for you. And of course I can't just turn around because there's a fucking tree there. Realizing I should have stayed on the road, my car does not have the suspension for this shit. <laughs> well, it's okay because the road uh, way takes you onto this dirt two track. And my Lotus doesn't have the suspension or the tires for this. Oh, I'm going to push them away from the destination. Oh, that you. There is room in here. If, if you haven't got in yet. Oh, well, maybe the oh, event was in oh. progress, so he'll be in the next one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We lost by 50 points. Motherfucker. Yeah. Right, though. My suspension can't handle the dirt that guy got around me. Uh, I can't really see it unless we back out, so that's going to be a new. Trace us too, I'm out. Fiend, far rush. Hey, they named a, a race after me because I'm a wind farm. It's 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 named after Griff. Really. I might have to turn my curve up on my uh, card fan there, and I might have to get my case fans to go a little harder sooner. Computer getting a little warm. Yeah, you left the convoy, join the convoy. Probably still trying to get in the race. I found the convoy. Eight convoy. Mighty X. Ah, 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 ah. Well, obviously, I missed that checkpoint because I was getting fucked. I agree. <laughs> what was that, Griff? Did you not see the red light? Slow down. I couldn't get stopped in time. It says it's full. Yeah. It is now. There's a grease lightning paint job for this car. Uh. 
I don't follow the reference. You see a movie Grease Lightning? I'm gonna guess no. Alright. I know it's that song. Grease. There's somebody who's always singing. Just watch it, man. It's a good movie. It's an older movie. Grease Josh Lightning? Was younger. But yeah, it's a pretty good movie. You should watch it. Ain't that right, Matt? What? Or, I mean, Harvey. Uh, John Smolder's good in here. Right? Uh, I don't know if we, what we were talking about the same movie. Wow, oh, man, that movie is awesome. Uh-huh. Not talking about Grease, are you? It sounds like I never heard of Grease like. Yeah, so I'm talking about the Grease. Grease Lightning is the name of the car. Okay. It's a song. I'm the name of the car. It is the car. It's they a dance song. Grease Lightning. They named the car Grease Lightning. Yes, this is a song. They call it Grease Lightning. This is why they greased their hair. I don't know. Or staying out of the game, I should say. Next race to me. Yeah, since you got to work, that's probably a good idea. It really depends what the next series is. If it's the A class again somehow, then I'll probably do that. Or I should say, yeah, if, something, if it's something I want to do, then I'll do it. If it's not something I want to do, I'm probably not going to do it. <laughs> if it's S2, I'm probably out. I might be out anyways. Oh, left again. Yeah, he'll pop back in. He's trying to join up. In and out. In and out. In and out? Yeah, he pops in. He pops out. He's raping you, Griff. Rush. I'm just staying on the road. Yeah, one of those cars just like to turn left as soon as it starts. Took that damn shortcut and you lost spots. That wasn't really a shortcut. I was trying to get through. Well, I'm going fine. This is not a fast car. Everybody is literally trying to run me over here. I'm Where are you in? The Lotus Esprit. It's like maxing out at 147 in, in sixth gear, like I literally can't go any faster. And I just got shoved off the road. Is that the James Bond one? Yeah. Yeah. It's not fast, I, but it handles pretty alright. I tried doing something with it and gave up. Like I say, it handles decent for me, but it's not fast. Let's go. 
fucked by that view run guy. I got fucked by the gaggle of cars that was all trying to pass me and bouncing me this way and that way and but I think I got bounced off the road and actually drove past you through the brick wall that I was mowing down. Okay. Get a reset. This thing keeps detecting me for inactivity, so I gotta, you know, keep moving the mouse or lifting the throat, the pedal or something. That's nice. I just fell through the map. Oh wow, that's good. Some straight up art shit here. I haven't fell through the map in a race. Uh, I was stuck on the roof, it wouldn't reset me, and then it flipped me on my side and I fell through the map. Sweet. I got stuck on my side earlier. You found the wormhole. Did you just quit or something? But yeah, hey Rex, don't try to exit out of the convoy and rejoin. Just try to stay in and it might actually put you in the race, or in the series this time. Well, actually never mind, because we're going to be in the... well... Yeah. It's over done now it's over but yes. if they we're in did. if we're in the next one yeah then it might actually bring him in 30,660 electrons watch me some s2 fucking winter shit now yeah that'd be my luck uh, no it'll spin off Oh, wheel spin. 1932 Ford Deluxe 5 door, 5 window or whatever it was. I couldn't read I got enough. you beat. I yeah. got a navy sweater. There you go. I got common pink boots. Summer Road Racing S1. Yeah, I'm back now. Are you? Yeah. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do All it. Alright. Back in that one or S1? Oh, there's two, you know. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna do my wheel spins. I'm gonna head out. Okie dokie. Tomorrow I'll work on some more cars. My wheel spins. I gotta figure out how to get these cars to go faster. Watch the festival tea. While still handling. Yeah. I had that car. I sold it. I mean, I guess A class doesn't really need race tires. I can put, you know, the next step down, but yeah, but the yeah, race tires is... definitely help. Oh, I want another Mustang. Not the one you were looking for, was it though? No. Definitely not. Speaking of, though, we'll see if anyone has that in the auction house yet. I've only seen it in that wheel spin once. See you later. Oh yeah. Thanks for watching. Come back to the
Mm -hmm. I might rethrow all my uh my CPU this weekend. You might do what? Pull my uh water block off, clean the the thermal paste off and redo it. Okay. Why is she giving you some weird readings? No, it's just the like the CPU was getting up there, but the the water block unit itself, I have it set right now so that um, at, if it hits 40, it's at 100% fan speed on the radiator. Hmm. So I was trying to figure out how the water block could be 40. Because I didn't even hear the fans kicking on that loud, so I don't even think it was reading that it was at 40. And the temperature on the CPU reading was, I think, up to like 60. Wow. Yeah. Which I know is surprising, and that's what they do, but I still try to keep it as low as I can. Now, is there a way to turn your water pump up faster, or would that not help? Uh... I think so. I think I could put on extreme and the water pump will go faster. If my water block is the fifth, my fan should be at 100%. Yeah, I would think so. so I'm not going to change that. 
that. Right now it's we have a water block times it's 41, but Cam is saying my CPU is only 34. Hmm. That's weird. It is a little bit, yeah. Could still be that whole rising shit not reading, right? It could be. My question is, though, should I have it reading off the water block temp for the cooling system, or should I have the cooling system reading off the CPU? That's a good question. I don't really run water cooled, so I couldn't uh, properly answer that. Okay. It seems because right seems now like... it's set to run off. The cooling temp. It, it seems like your um, cooling performance should be based off how hot your water block is, which in theory should be as you know getting its temperature from you know obviously being on top of the CPU die. Right.
So did Google figure you out anything? Yeah, I'm reading a forum on it right now. They're saying that the... The tap of the water is going to be a few degrees higher than the than the room temperature, no matter what. Obviously, so. right. But like if your room is at 75 like mine is now, their water temperature shouldn't be any more than like mid-20s in the Celsius. Yeah, my Lamborghini Gallardo that used to handle perfectly, now whenever I step, you know, hit the brakes, it locks them up and veers the opposite direction of what I want to go. Well, that's three, so in theory, we won that one. When are we going to win this wheel spin? Nissan Fairlady Z 2003.
summer street racing. Yeah, we're gonna do that one. Class A. Let's try to use this Mercedes Evo and see what happens. Yeah, something has to be going on because even if I put them... Even if I put those fans on extreme, they don't go past... 1440. Well, it depends too as the... You know, just what your top speed of your fans actually is, because... Some of them, that's all the faster they turn. That's the case, I might buy some more fans. <laughs> well, I, I don't know how you have yours laid out, but generally, you know, the front of the case and low, you want to have those fans blow in the back of the case and the top, um, have them blow out. Yeah, that's how it is. And yeah. I got one in the back blowing out as well. Yeah. Well, that's how you want to do it. Apparently... The stock fans are supposed to ramp up in the 2000s. Hmm. Maybe these fans are only 1500 fans. Could be. Yeah, I mean, that's how you, you know, that's the line you play with. The slower the fan, the quieter it is, but the less air it moves. Yeah. Hmm. You know, it's not generally a bad thing, but if you're getting too warm, then something else maybe has to change. Or maybe you need to get faster fans, I guess. Yeah, because the pump speed pretty much stays the same no matter what city you put it on. 
I mean, my idle temp right now is still 40. 41 Celsius. They do have something to go for 3,000. Can't imagine how loud those things are. Mercedes 190E with the big wing in the back. You know, it sticks to the road pretty decently, but it's not a fast car. Yeah. They do have some. They're $30 a pop. I mean, one thing to look at it, if you're looking on like Newegg or Amazon or whatever, is if it gives you the specs along with the RPM, whatever it says for the CFM, the cubic feet per minute, that's how much air it's moving. Obviously, the higher number, the better. This graph on the actual website for the company gives me the RPM, the DBA. Decibels for how loud it is. The M something H and the MMH2O. MMH2O sounds like how much air pressure it's pushing out. That's how much air or water it would move, how many millimeters of water it would raise. Well, that, that's 10.52 compared to 2.08 of the ones that are in there now. and maybe you want a higher pressure fan if it's going to be sitting up against your radiators. Oh, what the shit? Just spun out for the fun of it, apparently.
There's nothing on the Amazon site that says these are 3,000 RPM fans, though. Yeah, that's one thing I've noticed about Amazon is it's great for some things, but you might want to do your research other places because it doesn't always tell you all the specs. Right. According to manufacturer's website, they are 3,000. Yeah, you'll notice those things when they spin up. But I also just thought, I believe those were 120s that were supposed to be in the front, which means I need a different fan, because I was looking at 140s. So. Oh, geez, 140 millimeter, 3,000 RPM? That's, you could probably lift your case off the ground with those things. Yeah. So we want the NFF14 Industrial. Well, you probably don't want the 14. That's probably 14 centimeter or 140 millimeter. Oh, yeah, this is the F12. The, okay. the one I was looking at was the F14. Oh, no, I did get the F12 up there. Oh, never mind, that's something different. Now, are you looking for radiator fans or case fans? Um... Radiator fans. Okay, yeah, because you probably they're, won't. They're the same thing, except for you want to get static pressure for the case fans. Well, I figured you or, I mean, static pressure for the radiator fans. Yeah, yeah. But I also was trying to figure out, too, where you were putting them as to what size, because, yeah, you probably want 120s on your radiator. Probably want 140s on your case. Yeah, the front of my case is the 140s. I think everything in my case is 140s. Which is handy. So what are you doing? Yeah, I will say they do come with really nice pack. Oh, here we go. On the bottom. And our four pin PWM. Yep, that means they can. PM, 12 volt. Decimal is 43 dash 5. 2,000 RPM fan is 12 decimals less. The next step up from that fan goes into 24 volts. 24 volts? Yep. What does it come with? Two, uh... Motherboard plugs or something? I have no clue. That's a big part. <laughs> it puts up the same decimals, the same RPM, but it's a 24 volt. Does it say anything about the inches of water or um, CFM or anything like that? No. It says that the 12 volt has IP52 water dust protection. Oh, that's and interesting. The 24 volt has IP67 water dust protection. Yep. Your phone, I think, also has IP67 water and dust protection. But then the 24 volt also has. AEC-Q100, whatever the fuck that is. 
Don't know. That's a new one for me. Wow, I, was, I finished second was the only person on my team to score points. And that's probably three for the blue team, so that's probably where I'm going to call it for the night. I'd, I want to do more racing, but it's quarter to five almost, so... Yep, so I'm going to have to buy two of these fans. I don't have to. You don't have well, to, but you're going to. <laughs> if I want my computer to cool down like it's supposed to.